Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good week. Welcome to this During the Week video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. You may or may not know where I am this Wednesday afternoon. I'm outside the church in our prayer garden. Now it's not as pretty as it is in the spring and summer and it's certainly not as warm today as it is in the spring and summer. Yet it is a very nice place in our church and just a great prayerful place. There's a particular reason that I'm here that I'll share with you in just a few moments. But first, I want to share some great things happen that happened this past weekend at the church. On Saturday, our joint board members, our board of elders, and our board of trustees met for our joint board retreat. Now, it wasn't like any joint board retreat I've ever been to before. In past years, our joint boards would meet at the church, here at the church, or somewhere else in our community. This past Sunday, several of our members did meet here at the church, but we also had some of our members take part in the meeting through Zoom. And I just want to thank all of our board members as we made it work. An important part of our joint board retreat was setting goals for our church family this year. If you watched last week's During the Week video, you might remember me talking about the importance of goals. Goals give us something to shoot for. And as we sense what God wants us to do, and we write down our goals and work on our goals, as we try to do great things for God, which in turn, God does great things for us. Here are the goals for our, that our joint board set for our church this year. Now, there are a lot of other things we're going to be doing this year in 2022, yet these are the things we really want to focus on. As our boards were thinking about what God wants us to do this year at King Moravian, we felt our goals can be grouped into three different areas. We have our building goals, which include infrastructure improvements and building a strong foundation for a successful capital campaign, which we hope to get going pretty soon. We have our activity growth goals, which include having an audiovisual team and upgrading our technology, especially for live streaming our worship services, and having awareness of our resources, looking into other streams of funding and community involvement with our mission blitz. And we have our spiritual goals, which include addressing who we are and letting people who know who the King Moravian Church is. And it also includes con keep connecting with our church family and more involvement with our youth group, with our youth and our worship services. You know, I feel like we have some great goals here. And our boards will be saying more about them and we'll be putting some plans behind these goals and we can sure use the help of our church family to help us meet them. So I hope each of us will see what you and I can do to help make our goals realities and to help do great things for God. I also want to thank another great thing I want to thank everybody for was our worship service this past Sunday. Now, we didn't have as many people as we usually have here for our services, so we missed several of you. You know, I realize there is a spike in COVID, so we want everyone to stay safe. I'll also add that we're making our services as safe as possible with recommending masks, keeping our distance, and running our air purifiers. Besides those who came, I want to thank everyone who watched the service. If you haven't seen it, I hope you will. In the service, besides hearing some great music from Jennifer and from our choir, I shared a message on a key for making 2022 a great year. And that key is practicing good stewardship. For me, good stewardship, which is being a good manager of the time God gives you and the talents God blesses you with and the treasure that God gives you to manage, good stewards is being a good manager of what God blesses with you, which makes a great difference in your life. And it makes a great difference in the life of our church family. I hope you'll be with us for upcoming services. And if you can't, please watch them online as I'm going to continue to talk about the importance and the blessings of being good stewards. Here's some other things going on for us at King Moravian, which leads me to why I'm here in our prayer garden. And that's one of our announcements has to do with prayer. This Monday... Our church family is asked to do our part of the Unity Prayer Watch, which is a continuous prayer chain in the Moravian Church worldwide, as someone is praying for the Moravian Church every hour of every day and night. We've been asked to have people in our church pray for the Moravian Church this Monday from 12 o'clock midnight until 8 o'clock in the morning. We have an online sign-up where people can sign up to pray for 15-minute intervals. And I just want to thank you so much to everyone who has already signed up. At this time, we have nine slots open between 2.15 in the morning to 4 o'clock and then between 4.15 to 4.45. Now, I realize that this is a very early or a very late time, however you look at it. But if you can help, we in our Moravian Church would greatly appreciate it. The sign-up is on our church's website at kingmoravianchurch.org. You can also call the church office if you'd like to help. 
Some other things I want you to be aware of, we continue to have some copies still available for the 2022 Moravian Daily Text. They're in the office. If you want one, just or several of them, please let, let us know. We have our flower calendar for 2022 for anyone who'd like to provide flowers for our Sunday services. There are several Sundays that are still open. The sign-up sheet is over in the Narthex, but you can also call the church office if you want to sign up for flowers. And I want to say one other thing about our worship service this Sunday. If you've if you've been watching the local weather reports, they say there's a chance for some snow this weekend, and it might be here on Sunday morning. Maybe now's a good time to say something about our bad weather policy. We plan to have our services, but if you feel it's not safe to come to or from the church, please stay home and stay safe. If we need to cancel our service, we'll get the word out in our church communications, and we'll also post it on WXII. If we need to cancel our service, uh, once again, well, we will get it out. But whether the service is canceled or not, whatever the weather might be, we will still have a service online. If we decide to have service despite the threat of bad weather, we'll have our service from our sanctuary. If the weather is so bad and we have to cancel, we will still have a service which will probably come from our home that you can watch online. Uh, and if it has to be that way, Kathy and I will do what we can to make it work. Do you want to share our prayer concerns with you? Uh, Mark Johnson had knee replacement surgery earlier today, which went well. The interesting thing about Mark's surgery is usually when you go for knee replacement, you stay there at the hospital at least overnight. Well, he came home later that day, so he is home now. Let's pray for a good recovery for him. Let's remember Hillary Douglas. He's had a recurrence of the leak in his heart valve. Uh, he's going to be getting it checked this week, so certainly keep him in your prayers. Mac Powell as he continues his chemotherapy. Sandy Emery asked that we pray for her daughter, Cherie Johnson, who last week went to the hospital with severe kidney stones. Sandy shares that today her daughter will be talking with her doctor and she might even have some possible surgery uh, if it still needs to be taken care of. Certainly let's remember all of our family members, friends, anyone in our church family who is dealing with COVID and we do have some who are and who have been, so certainly keep them in your prayers. Uh, during this pandemic, we continue to pray for our teachers, our school personnel, students, college students, our preschool here at King Moravian. Certainly, let's pray for health care workers and all that they are going through through all of this uh, and our nation as we deal with this pandemic. Speaking of prayer concerns, one of the things I've been doing this week is checking with several of our members about those on our prayer concern list and uh, that, who've shared that they like to have their loved ones and friends and neighbors and family members on our list these past weeks. Uh, it has been great to hear how some of them are doing better and they no longer need to be on our list. There are still others who need our prayer, so please check our church bulletin and our church communications uh, for our prayer list and please pray for those on it. If you have any updates that have have not gotten in touch with you, any updates, to, please let me know. And if there's any that we need to add to our prayer list, we certainly want to do that as well. Well, to close this video, I'll share one more thing about prayer, and that is every day I pray for our church family. I pray for God's protective hand to be on all of our members and friends of our church family that you don't get the coronavirus. And in those situations when people, when people have had it, that God will see you through it. I pray that God will fill all of us with a great love for him and that God will fill us with a great love and support for each other. Now, these are more collective prayers that I have for us. When I'm aware of specific situations, I pray for people individually, such as those who have surgery or who are in the hospital, who are experiencing the loss of a loved one or who have a situation they are going through that needs prayer. I also pray for those that we don't see at church that much, if at all. Now, I know some are those who we haven't seen because of the coronavirus. I know many have told me how they still keep up with our church family as they watch our services and videos and keep up with our church communications. And I look forward to the time when this pandemic will be behind us and they'll be back with us. They're in my prayers. I also pray for those who have gotten away from our church family. Now, I know there are some that we don't see at church, yet I'm glad to hear that several of our members keep up with our services and what's going on in our church family. Yet there are others who might have just, just gotten away from being a part of King Moravian. And there might even be some who have just drifted away from their relationship with the Lord. As we are beginning, a, still beginning a new year, I hope and pray that if you've gotten away from our church family and or if you've drifted away from your relationship with the Lord, that you will get back. Get back to our church family and get back on a regular basis. 
For those who have gotten away from the Lord, certainly get back to God and experience all that God has for you. I believe God has given us our church family to help make a difference in your life and my life. And God wants you and me to make a difference in this, our church family. And for anyone who has gotten away to the point where you feel that King Moravia is not the place for you, either get back to us and give us another chance, or please find a church home where God wants you to be. Don't waste this year not being active in a church. Whatever your situation, please know that you're in my prayers. I pray that you and I will always look to God, that you'll trust the Lord with your life, that you will always follow the Lord's leading, and that God will bless your life in many great and incredible ways. Well, I'm here in our prayer garden, a great place for prayer. So let me just close this video with prayer. Lord, I thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for our church family here at King Moravian Church. Thank you, Lord, for all who are watching this video, certainly many who are members. Thank you for those who are friends of our church. And thank you, Lord, for those who are part of other churches that just take the time to watch this as well. Thank you, Lord, for all of us. Um, and Lord, it's certainly my prayer that all of us will look to you, that will trust you, that will love you, that will show our love and what we do, and that we will just do all that we can to draw close to you and share a strong relationship with you, and that we will live that relationship out in, in the life that you give to us and also in our church life as well. For all these things, Lord, I do ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thanks again for watching and God bless you.